There's people on this floor. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> I haven't done this in a very long time since circa middle school and I'm in college now. I live with other people and I don't know how to live my life. But if you have happened to read the caption, or hello caption, I have not been here in a while. If you have happened to read the title of this lovely little video, I do indeed go to San Francisco State University and I do reside in Mary Ward Hall. I'm currently recording this video very rapidly before my roommate gets back, but I originally wanted to actually make a video for moving week and the whole moving process, but then I got lazy and now it happens to be exactly four months later, so that's timely. So I did record a few videos at that time that I don't really know what to do with. <laughs> We are Target running because I did not want to go to the Target where we live for the fifth time <laughs> last week. Are you trying to match that to my face? Why is living so expensive? That actually looks kind of cool. Wow. Hey guys, if you're this far into video, you should like, share, comment, and subscribe. Only 50% of you are subscribed, so Hit that. Where do you get the stuff from? <laughs> 2,000 of them watched the Tom Holland video. I am officially by myself with my roommate, which doesn't make any sense. No one here. We're like moving in, but we've already been here for like a day. Exactly. So like we're automatically cool. Oh Movie night! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Ah! Whoa! You guys are so cute! Whoosh transition. Hello, welcome back. I am now home for winter break, which does make me explaining my dorm a little less credible. But I am a resident of Mary Ward Hall, and despite all of the warnings and horror stories we've heard about people staying in residential halls, I think it's pretty survivable. So I'll just be going over my experience living in the dorms and as briefly as possible, because I know I was impatient to hear all the good stuff too when I was in your shoes. Let's get onto it. Whoosh, I don't know. <laughs> A script i'm reading off a script so start off first impressions my first impressions were honestly that the dorms were a lot bigger than i thought that they would be the rooms are about 165 square feet and you can reorganize the room in whatever way you feel comfortable the room itself actually doesn't come with the fridge so my roommate just brought one up and it doubles as a snack shelf which i often pay a little visit to we are given a twin xl bed but i swear to god with the right mattress topper sleep can be absolutely heavenly that being said i am exhausted every single day i'm a cs major next okay by the beds there's a huge window which I highly recommend opening for a lot of natural light instead of using the science experiment lab rat type of lighting that they provide for you. Also, bring lights of any sort. Make the room your own. LED lights, I don't care. Be the teenager that you are until you're not. And since the dorms don't actually have any AC, thankfully the San Francisco breeze provides a lot of freshness into the dorm just by cracking open the window a little bit. Yes, I do still sweat 
in San Francisco. The room also provides shelves for you, which I filled with a few of my Target knickknacks, pictures, and junk that I had in the top basket. You would probably have to get used to sleeping on the very edge of the bed so you don't wake up with a concussion every morning. Next to the shelves, we have a built-in bulletin board where you can pin up some high school memories because you're ignorant that you're an actual college student. I also super recommend getting air fresheners. That dorm does smell as old as it is and candles aren't allowed, so air fresheners are the best way to go. Now to creep under the bed. I have a few boxes storing some of my groceries the nearest Target, Trader Joe's, the mall, by the way, are right next to the school, which is super convenient for getting groceries. It's still a walk though, but I'm just lazy, so. I also have some of my living necessities down there, like paper towels, trash bags, laundry materials, etc. They also provide two drawers for you. The top one I use to store my pajamas, and the bottom one I use as my little pharmacy, because my mom said so, and I have really bad anxiety. Moving on to the closet. It is indeed a doorless closet, so I put up some curtains to gatekeep my clothes. But because you guys are so cool and are watching voluntarily and are maybe subscribed, wink wink, I'm sorry. We can take a little peek inside. We've got the top shelf, which is where I put my camera, shoes, and a few other miscellaneous things that could fit up there. And of course, we have our hung clothes and towels, boxes full of more clothes, shower shoes, and my laundry hamper. And before you ask, no, I have no idea how many clothes you're supposed to bring. I personally brought like my entire closet. I wear 50% of those clothes, but I like to have options. So you do you. You wear what you want to wear or wear as little as you want to wear. Just please do your laundry. We also have some storage space above the closet where I keep a lot of extra boxes and a basket full of bags for grocery shopping and for going out. The height of those cabinets does humble me though every day. And I'm 5'6", so I mean, I would probably invest in a stool. Now that we've HGTV'd around my room, let me give you the rundown of a day in the life of an SF State student with a sprinkle of advice in there. Because we all need it! To begin, I'm an early riser, so I wake up around 8 every morning debating if I should pretend that I slept through my alarm, and I go about my day. Occasionally, I go to the gym if I need to simultaneously boost my ego and also feel humble. Okay. But then, after that, I head to City Eats for a small breakfast so you can't audibly hear my hunger in class. Though chocolate muffins are bomb. Absolutely bomb. I will literally devour those in mere seconds. Anyways, after breakfast with my fake cup of coffee, I get ready to brush my teeth and shower. So I grab my towels, put on my shower shoes, and I head to the bathroom. Don't look! pervert. God, I'll just audibly describe it for you guys, you weirdos. So every floor has two bathrooms. One is male identifying and one is female identifying. Once you move in, you'll be able to specify which bathroom you're more comfortable going to and then they'll give you the key for that bathroom. Now, the topic of dread. Communal bathrooms. Um, yeah, not terrible in all honesty, I'm not gonna lie. Although I do schedule when I take a dump now, so that's unfortunate for me. Now the layout of the bathroom. There are four toilets, one is wheelchair accessible, four sinks and four showers, one also being wheelchair accessible. And there are also lockers, which you can choose whichever one you want if you want one in the first place, but you also do have to bring your own lock. The showers, brace yourselves, um, are doorless. There there are no doors, they, they do not come with doors and there are curtains without hooks, but they're not terrible. Um, I think my standards are pretty low, but they're actually not terrible. We've all established a communal sense of fear of seeing each other nude, so I wouldn't worry about anyone taking any peeks. You narcissist. After I'm all dressed and back in my dorm, I apply some light skincare, light makeup if I'm feeling insecure every day. Have a cute raspy conversation with my roommate and I get some work done. Sometimes. If only for this video, I'm getting work done. I needed to look productive. If I don't have a class before, then I go head down to get some lunch. In Mary Ward, we have two dining halls in close proximity to us. We have bricks, which is right next to the building, which is more of a casual takeout study area. There's bean bags in there, it's really cute. And right in front of the building is City Eats, which is more dine-in and um, it's mid, it's not that good. But you know what dining hall food is good. Except UC Davis, frick you UC Davis. Kidding, I love you UC Davis. I have a lot of friends that go there. But if you decide you hate the food, which happens more often than I, I'd hope, you can also take a minute walk to the Vilmar, which is a convenience store by The Village, which is also another one of SFSU's on-campus housing. In the Vilmar, you can pick up some snacks, some fine dining, microwavable food, or even buy some hot food there. And if that doesn't tickle your taste buds, there's also a subway, which is right next to the Vilmar. The campus also offers there's a ton more cultural food options, which is by the student center, and there's a little food court area in that space as well. However, most of the time I just go to the dining hall because I'm lazy and my mom is getting mad at me for, for buying food 
when I should just be using my meal plan. Which is really difficult considering that the mall is only a 15 minute walk away with an Asian food court. God, the temptation. Now we're back in the dorm. <laughs> I switch out of my nasty outside shoes and I slip into my dorm slides, which I super recommend that you have because it's really gross outside. Then I have my lunch and I usually head to my classes, which I actually did not have this day. <laughs> Pranked. If I did have footage though of me going to my classes, it's probably just gonna be me panting, walking to the other side of campus. No one ever talks about how much walking there is in college, so invest in a Fitbit. Whenever you do leave your dorm though, do not forget to bring your keys and do not risk getting locked out. What I did personally was place a hanger in my closet, which is right by the door, so I don't ever forget to bring my keys when I go out and when I come back. Other than the festivities of academics and my spontaneous social life, I spend most of my time in my building either cleaning. Highly recommend you get a dustpan and a brush or a vacuum because it does get really dusty and dirty in your dorm. Also take the trash out, do my laundry, get the mail. This clip was actually my first time getting the mail so I actually did not know what I was doing. I also fool around in the stairwell before quiet hours. Yeah. Reminisce before I was responsible for things by myself or I binge TV shows to compensate for my lack of a love life. But yeah, woo! To close off, staying in a residential hall is definitely not five star. However, I don't think I'll regret it for my first year, surprisingly. Um, but you know, being able to go up a floor, down a few, knock on the wall of a neighbor if you're ever feeling lonely makes it really easy to find a nice, comfortable space to talk with someone. And even if privacy isn't a huge thing anymore, apart from the 10 minutes where you or your roommate is showering, of course, I would say it's definitely a huge part of the college experience. Anyways, hopefully that was persuasive hopefully in the good way. And if you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them or I will direct you to a video that is more qualified to explain the answers to that. So I guess for old time's sake, I hope you guys like this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content like this one. Or not. I really don't. I don't know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and love. Ah!